This one right here is going to knock your socks off. All right. Check your feet after I share this. Uh, this is a vintage. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are going to talk about some big money bolos that I sold on eBay. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what I sold it for. Um, these items come from all different places. I go to thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales. Um, most recently, my favorite place to source is the Goodwill bins. Tell me if you love sourcing at the Goodwill bins. All right, we are going to get started here. I've got quite a few really great, fantastic bolos for you. Some you may have never heard about. So if I share something that you did not know about, let me know down in the comments. I would love that. And if you're new here, thanks for being here. If you've been here for a long time, thanks for coming back. And let me know how you found the channel. All right, the first item we're going to talk about is this one right here. And you guys, if you've been here for a while, you know that I am not a fan of breakables. Can you believe I bought this? Oh my goodness. It's got the little piece on the top. Oh, scary. And it's full of water. Um, so these are kind of like a snow globe that is shaped in the shape of a bell. They are absolutely incredible. I picked them up at a garage sale. Um, it was a while back. I think I got three or four of them. And some of them sold really quickly, and this one's been hanging around for a while. And I ended up paying $2 for this, and I sold it for $65 plus shipping. These are uh, Franklin Mint Crystal Glitter Globe Sleeping Beauty by Jane Lunger. Let me see if I can show you the bottom here. So for 2 bucks, I was like, you know what? I'm going to figure out how to ship this. And I did, and, and they made it. They've all made it. So I think I'm a better shipper than I give myself credit for. I just don't, I just don't like it. You know, it's just not fun. It takes me a long time, and I'm always, like, worried about it. Um, so I did a video on these. This was one of those, like, unknown bolos to me. It's a vintage Pixel Chicks Mattel House interactive toy. These were sitting in my garage forever. I can't remember if I got them at a garage sale or if I got them out of a thrift store mystery box. Cost of goods was not much. I will say that. I sold these for set this one for $77.50 plus shipping. I had four total. I think they've all sold. There might be one left. I'm not 100% sure, but look how cool they are. So they're interactive. And uh, these all had condition issues, um, just like whether it be cosmetic, but they all worked. One of them didn't function completely. And I just disclosed that and did a video in the description. Um, I do have a video that shows all of them that I got and how they work. If you guys want to check that out, it's over on my reseller testing Bolo products channel. This is a Disney Pixar Woody and Jesse the cowgirl. These are pull string plush talking toys. These came out of a thrift store mystery box. I knew that these were a Bolo when I saw them. I was pretty excited about it. Um, I sold these for $62 plus shipping. Uh, the thrift store mystery boxes, they're usually toy boxes, Christmas or Halloween. They have a set price on them. I have a whole bunch of unboxings over on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel. I do some unboxings over here as well. So definitely check out both channels. They are linked down below. Um, so yeah, cost of goods was probably a couple bucks for that. This is a vintage 1977 Pacifica ELL. ELO rock band uh, belt buckle. And I talked about this in another video. I've sold a few of these. Um, I picked them up at a garage sale and my cost of goods was $1.75 each. This is what you're looking for on the back. But any of these band um, buckles, definitely pick them up. This one, my husband was going to like shine them up for me and try to get off the scuffs and stuff. And I just decided to just list them as is. Could I have gotten more? Quite possibly, but I didn't want him to waste his time doing that. And we'll just let the buyer take care of that on their end. I sold this for $77.50 plus shipping. These salt and pepper shaper shakers I got at a garage sale. I paid $3 for them. They are vintage green lettering milk glass salt and pepper shakers by Hazel Atlas. I uh, paid $3 to the best offer of $40 plus shipping. And those did take a little while to sell. These vintage Rainbow Bright Patty O'Green and Rainbow Bright Lucky Doll 
1983. These are by Hallmark. They are, they're in decent condition, but I mean, they're definitely played with pre-owned. Uh, they've got some dirt and stuff on them. They're not perfect. Uh, got them at a garage sale for a buck and I sold those for $52 plus shipping. This next item, I thought about parting it out <laughs> and um, I was going to do a whole video on how to part it out. But then I was like, everything's here except for the rubber band that I threw away because I thought it was just a rubber band. I didn't realize it went with the game. So this had everything except for the rubber band. Unbelievable, right? I had somebody reach out to me and they're like, will you just sell me the white ball? And I'm like, no, because then I'm going to have to part the entire thing out. And that's what I decided I did not want to do. This thing was in really good condition, but you can see there's a white ball right there. They wanted that white ball. Um, so I don't know if that's the person that ended up buying it or not. This is from 1963 and it was in really good condition. So I just decided to sell it um, as complete missing rubber band. <laughs> My fault. Sold it for $55 plus shipping. Picked that up at the Goodwill Benz outlet. This one right here came from a garage sale. I paid it. I did pay up for it. I paid $8 for it. It's a Lee Middleton Small Wonder Life's Little Lesson Going to Grandma's Doll. New old stock. And I sold this for a best offer of $100 plus shipping. This next item are vintage hand embroidered pillowcases. So anytime I find these hand embroidered pillowcases, if they are in good condition, I will pick them up because people do collect these and they want them. This one had the horse pattern, which was just incredible. And I sold these for $58.50 plus shipping. Got them at a garage sale. I'm going to say like a buck or two. I think it was a garage sale. The vintage Hallmark stationery. All right. So if you did not see my video yet, um, Terry from Mindful Recycle, she gifted me three boxes of, I'll call it inventory. Uh, they were mystery boxes. And what she does is she wraps everything up and she gives me clues. And I have to guess what is in the wrapping. Um Go watch the video if you haven't seen it. Go subscribe to Terry Mindful Recycle. She is one of the biggest money bolo finders ever. But I did a video featuring stationery that she picked up at an estate sale. She got, I think, 74 stationery packets for a dollar each. It was just like a once in a lifetime find, in my opinion. But she gifted me three of them. That was a part of my unboxing. And you got to go see what else she sent me. Just incredible. It was like bolo after bolo after bolo. But I ended up selling this set for $99.99 .99 plus shipping. This set I sold for $150.85. You guys, it is incomplete. It's not even complete. And it got a bidding war for $150.85. This one right here is Mary Hamilton, which is definitely a bolo. Um, I sold this one for $149.99 plus shipping. So just incredible. $400 the buyer paid for all three of these. It was the same buyer. And what a blessing and kindness to me from Terry, Mindful Recycle. Thank you so much, Terry. Um, I just, I, those boxes, the, just incredible. Anyway, you guys go check out that video and sub up Mindful Recycle. This here is a Bucilla Needlepoint kit. And I got this from an estate clean out. I sold it for $79 plus shipping. Uh, just some of the Bucilla and the dimensions, some of these old cross-stitch uh, Needlepoint uh, Cruel kits go for big money. Definitely look them up. But if you can source them cheap, I just grab them all. The next item uh, also, came, also came from that estate clean out. Um, it was a crayon box calculator from 1994 in the original packaging. It does have some fading, but it is sealed. I sold this for $40.30 plus shipping and my cost of goods from this estate sale. It was basically I bought everything um, in bundles and paid one price. It was like, here, take all of this for this price. So cost of goods was really, really good. This one right here is going to knock your socks off, all right? Check your feet after I share this. Uh, this is a vintage bump and stem wire chenille pipe cleaner crafts. These are vintage, you guys. These are incredible. Um, wow, just wow, wow, wow. I got them at a garage sale. I think I paid about a buck for it. Somebody swooped in and bought this for my full asking price, sale price of $77.50 plus shipping. Now, this is definitely belongs in one of my category videos for arts and crafts, would you not say? 
Look how cool this is. Oh my goodness. $77.50 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage ever wherever electric super shooter cookie press. Now I just sold another one of these recently, but it had different packaging, but it was a super shooter also. These used to be huge money. Um, they used to go for over a hundred bucks. If you can find them new old stock, they're going to go for a lot more. This one, um, I got at a garage sale. I believe it was $2 and I sold it for $49.60 plus shipping. Definitely be on the lookout for this item. This is a vintage Vilroy and Bach Foxwood Tail Salad Plate. I got this one and this one. They sold to the same buyer for $40 a piece. So the buyer, $80 for the two of them, all in for $106.44. Um, this is what they look like on the back. And the funny thing is, is when I was going through my money pile and I was taking everything from the totes, or I'm sorry, it was just a big mess. I did a video on it. And it some of it was in totes. Some of it was just in boxes. And I'm like, I have just got to get this organized. It is just too much. It's overwhelming. I just keep adding and adding and adding. And um, that estate clean out, they had totes. So I've been buying all of their totes. And I was like, I'm going to organize this mess because it is a mess. It's a money pile mess. <laughs> and it, it, I'm just, I wasn't getting to it. So what I did is I got these totes and I took everything out of the boxes. I reorganized. These plates were in one of those boxes or totes. Um, there were four of them. I've sold three. I have one left. Um, I also found that Taz mug that I shared in another video. Uh, you'll see that one either before or after this video. I'm not sure which, but another big money bolo. I wonder how many big money bolos are just hanging out over in my money pile. So let's talk about the money pile. Um, I'm not getting to it. It's just too much. And I want to keep sourcing because I love to go to the Goodwill bins and I love going to thrift stores and garage sales. And when I get the new stuff, I want to list the new stuff. So the old stuff just keeps sitting. Does Can anybody relate with me? Can, can you, uh, do you know where I'm coming from here? Do you feel me? So um, I have been selling on whatnot and I love it. It is a process. It's very time consuming. I wasn't expecting that, but um, I think it's a great way for me to move inventory quickly. I am not going to make as much as I would make on eBay. Um, I'm going to offer it out on whatnot. Can people buy it and resell it? Sure. Um, am I selling to the reseller? I, I don't necessarily think so, but there's been a lot of people that bought my Christmas stuff and they're listing it on eBay. So maybe I am, but I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just bringing stuff. I'm not looking it up. I don't have time to look it up. If I'm going to look it up, I'm going to list it. Okay. Um, but I have loads and loads of toys. Like I was thinking I could do like a Paw Patrol show or like a Fisher Price loving family show. But again, it's like, I'm one of those people where I list high and I'm a long tail seller. I wait on the right buyers, but whatnot, you have to change your mindset and just be like, I'm going to sell it for less. I'm going to move it quick. It's going to give me more money to buy more inventory and I get to keep shopping. <gasps> so anyway, I've got some vintage clothing that I want to blow out first. And then that crafter's estate and I want to get that all finished and that that crafter's estate, man, oh man, whoo, there's a lot. It's going to take me quite a bit of shows to do that. So it'll be a while before I get to the money pile with all the jewelry and the toys and stuff. But I'm thinking I might bring it to whatnot. What do you guys think? Do you want me to bring it to whatnot? If you're not following me on whatnot, there is a link down below. You get $15 if you join with my link. Um, that is a referral link. So you get the 15 bucks to shop. You don't have to shop with me. You can shop with anyone, but um, it'd be cool if you shopped with me. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. So anyway, um, if you want to sell on whatnot, there's also a referral link that um, you can click on to sell and then it takes you and you fill out the application. And it says that I referred you from what I understand, you are more likely to get accepted quicker if you have a referral. So definitely use that link if you want to sell. It is different than the buyer's link. Okay. Um, let me know if you have any whatnot questions. I love it. It's so fun because I get to come on and I get to talk to you guys. Um, a lot of my viewers have come over and bought stuff and hung out and I appreciate every single one of you. Um, but even if you don't want to buy anything, just come hang out so I can talk to you in the chat. Um, yeah, thanks for being here. Which Bolo was your favorite? Leave me a comment down below and 
Thanks for watching.